Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to build this really cool tree house. This is definitely a project that's fourth and fifth grade and up. And your tree house is not gonna look exactly like mine because you've probably got different things at home that you're gonna wanna use for your tree house. So for example here, I have rocks that I got from the backyard to build a little fire pit and the fire was just made out of paper that I colored. A little Lego guy, I made a chair out of a bottle cap and straws. These torches are made out of Q-tips that I just colored the tops of. I have a little dino here who's about to eat my Lego guy. <laughs> the leaves were just made out of paper and if all you have is white paper, you can color them before you cut them out. That works too. Um, as I turn it, my slide is made out of tin foil from the kitchen. This little lounging chair was made out of a bottle cap and the wax from the little cheeses you can get at the grocery store. And this was the cardboard piece to a shoe, uh, the interior part of a shoe that um, I had that I bought off of Amazon. This was a, you can see, Sprite box that I just cut. And we've got my little army guy here. And I made a table on the inside with a plate on it with a button and another bottle cap and more wax to make the other chair on the inside. If I keep turning, you can see that I have a little outhouse toilet here made from a bottle cap, another torch, a ladder that I made out of paper. And then I know it's hard to see, but in here, there's a muffin cup where I made it into a swimming pool and I even have another dinosaur in there. So boys and girls, these can be pretty fun to build. They can be pretty elaborate. But like I said, yours is not going to look exactly like mine because you don't have the same supplies as me. However, I would say basic supplies you are going to need for this. You're going to need cardboard, markers, or crayons. You don't need markers necessarily. It could be markers or crayons. White glue. Um, if you don't have white glue, you can use tape. This project, it does help to have a glue gun, but the only reason why the glue gun is nice, boys and girls, is that it's gonna make this project go faster. It doesn't mean that you can't build this if you don't have a hot glue gun. Um, parents, just as a rule, I only use hot glue gun with fourth grade and higher, but you guys know your kids, you know whether or not they could handle um, using a hot glue or not, gun or not, and I only use low temperature guns. I never use a high temperature gun with kids. Kids, I always say, if you're going to use a hot glue gun, put glue on the surface you're going to put something on and then push that thing into the glue or hold something side by side like this and attach the glue, but the glue gun never goes over your hand because we don't want you to get burnt, okay? So I'm going to time lapse this video and I'm going to build another tree house because you don't want to see me build this um, really slow. I'm going to time lapse it in fifth graders. You'll be able to figure it out. I think pretty well on what to do. And so again, be creative, use what you have in your house and have fun.
All right, boys and girls, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that fast version of how to build a tree house. Remember, yours may not look exactly like mine. You may need to find different things from around your house. Dig in your recycle bin. Some things you should definitely ask your parents if you can take and cut up before you use them. Dig in the backyard, find some rocks, find some old toys that you maybe want to put inside your tree house. I will warn you that when you're done with this, your little brothers and sisters are probably going to want to play with it and have fun with it. So just remember, if you like this video, subscribe to Art Recycled. Have fun making art and I'll see you next time. Bye.